Okay. Tell us how it all works. Right. Well, first operation is the um, is the front seat, which I wanted it to drive to go forwards and backwards. So I had to install your your front seat driver pushing backwards and forwards runners. mechanism. Runners. Runners. Yep. Run seat runner. So it goes forwards and backwards, so you can uh, seat room. Then I wanted it to lift up so you could get into the engine cover and have good ac fast access to that. Um, so how does it lift up? How does it lift up? You go click like that and then... And do you have to hold it up? Uh, I made a chock that goes in there and clips into place and holds that up. <sighs> And then we've got fast access to the engine cover. Well up. And that just that piece completely comes off. It does completely come off. There you go. Okay, then you put your engine cover back on. So 20 seconds you're into the motor. Right. She's in. Beautiful. I also had to reconfigure the gear linkage so that she um, opens up. That's the, the radiator cap under there. So the, the whole gear linkage used to be out here in the way of where the passenger would have been. So I had to push it in close to the dash, turn it around 180 degrees because when it was installed the first time by, some, by the original owner, the, the H pattern was in reverse. So that was fun driving it. Um, and then, yeah, so I, I wanted to fit the gear linkage but retain access to the, um, what do you call it? To the um, radiator, radiator cap. Radiator. Okay. Just a second. Radiator cap. So you, you, the whole linkage just sits wow. forward like that and gives you access to that point. Like that. Okay, next operation. The seats. I want to know where your engineering degree is. Yeah. Now, um, I, um, the next operation is, oh, before I do that, before I do that, this is our table. This is our hooks for the table. Wanted a regular camping table. So we could use it inside and outside. So you can use it with Two legs for outside, or you mean four legs? Four legs for outside, or you can use it for inside. <laughs> smooth, right. smooth operator. <laughs> yeah. One. So it sits on the little hookies. Dinner is served. Cards, whatever you want to do. Okay, hang that up. Take it outside. That's in case I needed. We needed an area to eat from inside, in case it was raining outside and we couldn't use our annex. So, next is the seat operation here. Now, because we're driving, we don't really. I, I'm just a sort of a person that hates sitting backwards in a train or bus or whatever. I might just come up this way. So I had to put my head on this one and think about how to install a seat. So I made, I got more of those car slides and completely modified them, pulled them all apart, and stuck them in the um, in the in the frame in a way that I could do this. Now I need this little bar. Now, there it is. There the whole bus is rocking. So you need a hand with this? I don't know, I've never done it before. <laughs> It's actually not, the frame's not even bolted to the floor yet, so. 
that will be easier when it doesn't move around like that as well. There you go. Not only that, it'll be bolted to the floor so it'll stay stationary. That looks pretty cool. That's the first time we've ever seen it like this. Plenty of leg room. That's good. You like that? That's great. Here, come have a shot from this end. There you go. <laughs> I'm impressed, honey. So Not that I didn't think you could do it. The next operation is to fill in all underneath with um, storage with storage area and make it look all nice and fancy but that took me over a, no, it took me nearly two weeks yeah it's about two weeks work to there. I, I had to also uh, finish off the flooring because that's where the old bench seat used to be over there and I had to re-floor all that area that didn't have flooring on it so that was another bit of fun great mate Ha, 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 ha.